What is up? This is Colonial Puppet, and uh, I haven't made a video in like almost a month now, and I know a lot of people are asking why I haven't been making videos, why I haven't updated the uh, Let's Build a Stadium series. I haven't really been too vocal on why I haven't been making videos. Uh, it's been a couple reasons, partly because of the computer you see in front of you right now. Uh, this is going to be like a multi-purpose video. Um, I wanted to make an update video for my channel, why I haven't been putting out too much content, as well as pretty much, I guess, kind of a review of this laptop right here. I've been using it for the past two years now, over two years. I've gathered a lot of feelings about it over the years, and I thought it would be cool to make a, a review of it at some point. This is kind of a video I've been wanting to do for a while, and given that some of the issues as to why I haven't been making videos uh, plays into this laptop itself. I thought I'd do like a hybrid video where first I'll let you know why I've been making videos and also a review of this laptop. So firstly, uh, why haven't I been making videos uh, for almost a month now? Partly it has to do with my schedule and just being extremely busy. Rather than having stable full-time work, I have a bunch of kind of part-time work. And so that's been very stressful because on top of getting to work, I've also had to deal with scheduling work and uh, traveling to and from my different workplaces. And the other reason why I haven't been making videos is because of this laptop right here. There isn't really anything wrong with it um, that's like bricking the laptop, although there are some things wrong with it visibly. Uh, you can probably see that this um, the cover to this hinge is gone. Nothing really is wrong functionality wise with this laptop. It's just things that I'm doing to this laptop is preventing me from uh, making and recording large video files. Uh, I don't have the storage for that right now. Um, and like I said, I've had this laptop for over two years now, and it's kind of getting long in the tooth, it's getting beat up, and I thought rather than buy a new laptop, I would invest in this one and replace parts and clean it up and try and get it uh, back to its old self, even better than its old self. That's it for the excuses as to why I haven't been making videos. Uh, now I'm going to get into the review of this laptop. And before I get into the review, I think it would be smart to actually tell you guys what laptop it is I'm reviewing. It is the MSI GP60 Leopard Pro gaming laptop. I got this for about $800. has a slot for an MSATA SSD. But it has two graphics cards. It has like a kind of crappy integrated Intel 4400 HD graphics card or something. And it also has, or graphics chip. And it also has the NVIDIA GTX 950M. Uh, with a dedicated 2 gigabytes of video memory, uh, Sound Blaster Cinema, um, and it has a Steel Series uh, custom keyboard, chiclet keyboard. On the front of the computer, you get a bunch of LED indicator lights. You get the hard drive activity light, a Bluetooth light, some useless light for like a weird gaming network thing that was packaged with the computer, a uh, battery indicator light, uh, caps locks, num lock and um, sleep mode and you also get a SD HC and SD card reader on the sides you get a uh, port for charging a grill for the fan uh, three USBs uh, HDMI out and a headphone and microphone jack and on this side you get an Ethernet port a VGA port which unfortunately doesn't have the two screws that uh, some VGA cables have and you also get a fourth USB port um, and you also get an optical drive. The keyboard is a pretty good keyboard. It's just a regular chiclet style keyboard. The keys do wear down pretty quickly. Um, you can't really see it on camera, but uh, I've only had this computer for two years. And while I have used it a lot, I could definitely see a lot of wear, especially on the WASD. The space bar is pretty worn down. Another thing is that the screen, uh, when it comes down, uh, when I open it back up, I can see imprints of the keyboard on the screen. Uh, I don't know if that's why they included this little piece of cloth to put over the um, keyboard. One thing I really like is this little button right here. Um, when you press this button, it disables this trackpad right here, uh, which is great because I usually use this laptop at a desk with a mouse, uh, especially when I'm playing video games. I'm not going to be using the trackpad. Um, and the trackpad itself, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, it just has this big, really kind of tactile, clicky button. It does have right and left click. I'm not a big fan of it. It kind of has a rough texture to it. I like the more kind of... I would like this to be a rough texture and this to be nice and flat, but they've kind of inversed that. And it's a like really kind of rough 
texture, uh, which I'm not a big fan about. Then we get to these buttons right here on the top. I meant to say, one big gripe I have with this keyboard is it doesn't have any dedicated media uh, keys. But if you see the... also, uh, I broke this key right here, so... It's floppy like that because I broke it. That's not how it actually is. If you see the um, brightness controls are right here. I have to hold FN and turn the brightness up or down. And with volume, I have to hold the FN key down and hit zero to mute and unmute. And the right arrow to turn up the volume and the left arrow to turn down the volume. Which can be pretty annoying at times, especially when I'm busy and I have stuff in my hands. Uh, where I'm working on something and I'm listening to music on this laptop, which it does have pretty good speakers. It's annoying to have to hold down two keys to turn up and down the volume, uh, which uh, I feel like they could have put dedicated media keys on this computer if they wanted to, if not on the keyboard itself, on these top buttons right here, um, because uh, most of these keys are pretty useless or could be better implemented on the keyboard itself. You have the power button. It has this weird G-Force button, dedicated G-Force button, which I don't know what it did. I think it corresponded to some borderline bloatware that it came with when I first got it that I uninstalled immediately. It has another um, bloatware uh, dedicated button uh, right next to it. So these two buttons are completely useless. It has the cooler boost button right here. So if I press this button, yeah, you can hear the fan powering up. Then it has this button that I have no idea what it does, and the eject button for the optical drive. These buttons could have been used for dedicated media player buttons, and I feel like the cooler boost button could have been an FN key function somewhere. I don't really feel like I need a dedicated button up here for that. Um, although, I will, admittedly, I do use this a lot because I do play a lot of games on this thing. I do feel this computer overheat sometimes, uh, so it's good to have that. So I, maybe I would keep this key, but definitely these two keys, this key that I don't know what it does, and again, the um, eject button for the optical drive could have definitely been an FN func or function key. Uh, on the keyboard itself. Alright, so next I'm going to be opening up the laptop. Not really to review anything on the inside, uh, more to show you what I'm doing to this laptop to rejuvenate it. And uh, yeah, I, I guess now I could talk about the battery life. The battery life on this machine is fucking god awful. Like, any, not running any um, software. I can get maybe like three hours to like two and a half hours of. Uh, battery life on this thing. Just like doing low level tasks like watching YouTube videos on Firefox uh, cuts the battery life down to an hour to two hours at most. I've experienced really bad battery life on this laptop. It's one of the worst um, things about this laptop. Yeah, the battery life is really bad. And I know gaming laptops usually don't have the best battery life. They're not supposed to. Uh, this is the RAM right here. Um, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM in this laptop right now. It came with 8. Uh, the blue RAM stick at the bottom is the 8 gigabytes. This is 4 gigabytes that I pulled out of my old laptop. The same laptop that I pulled these display hinges out of. My goal is to replace this 4 gigabyte stick with another 8 gigabytes, uh, expanding it to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Um, got the fan right here. Heat sinks. Um, CPU, GPU, I'm not sure which one's which. Notice that the two and a half inch drive bay is completely empty. When I first got this laptop, it came with a 750 gigabyte hard disk drive, mechanical drive, and no MSATA SSD. I've switched that, now I have no uh, hard disk drive, and I have a 250 gigabyte SSD, which is screaming fast, it's a really nice it's Samsung Evo 460 something SSD. This is my thinking, I'm kind of fixing this computer in waves, um, I'm gonna put a mechanical drive in again. I thought rather than spending like $300 on a terabyte SSD, since I'm gonna be saving a lot of large video files with my YouTube work, I thought it'd be smarter to get a relatively small uh, MSATA SSD, 250 gigabytes, which will handle all of my programs, all that stuff, the operating system, and have a cheap $60 terabyte hard disk drive in the two and a half inch drive bay and save all my video clips on that. My next phase 
is to replace the uh, back panel of the screen um, and I'll get into that later and also add another uh, 8 gigabyte stick then lastly I do want to replace the CPU alright so now for my biggest gripe for this machine or I guess not the top the uh, the enclosure for the screen alright so already you should probably see that there's an issue right here first of all the screen is really kinda flimsy um, and that is because uh, well, you see in a second. Look at that. That is a large gash uh, in the back panel of the display housing. So basically, I'm going to be replacing this entire back panel. Just look at that. And I'll show you why it's doing that. Um, it's doing that because whoever designed how the hinge and the uh, panel, back panel and screen interact with each other, um, they were really going the cheap route. We're not going for sustainability at all. So this is the entire hinge mechanism. It just kind of comes out and immediately stops right here. There's five screws holding it into this back plastic panel. And that's it. Um, it's not connected to the other side at all. They all uh, move freely from each other. Both hinges move freely from each other. They don't hook into the side of the screen at all. This is from a Toshiba satellite. Um, as you can see, it would screw into the side of the screen like that. So at least some of the load was distributed, you know, up into the screen. So instead of just having all the load ending right here and just putting a lot of stress in that one particular area, because these hinges are extremely, like, strong. They're, they take a lot of force to actually bend up and down, enough to break this plastic, which is pretty brittle plastic. This is the poor part that is, like look at this. So this is what all the uh, stress went to. This is where all the stress went to from opening and closing this. Um, and this side is pretty strong still. So I guess it has to do with how I was opening it, I guess since I'm right-handed, I've been opening it with my left hand. Just that flexing motion over time was just too much for the back panel, or for the plastic to handle. And this crack has just been, I've been like, observing it slowly getting bigger and bigger with every time I open the, uh, open and close the laptop. And yep, uh, that's also pretty much it for... Uh, why my update video as to why I haven't been putting out that videos and what I've been busy with um, primarily with fixing this guy right here uh, like I said um, but yep that's I'm gonna put this back together and then edit the video not really sure why I took this apart just I guess to show you how shitty this is other than that this has been Colonial Puppet I hope you found this video to be uh, enjoyable I honestly made it because I feel guilty not making videos in a while, um, but I can't really do anything gameplay wise since I don't have that much memory to work with on the SSD, plus writing big video files over and over again to SSDs will wear them out pretty fast, and I kind of want to keep it solely uh, for programs and the operating system. So yep, like I said, this has been Colonial Puppet, have a good day.